Okay, so then. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Logan, and I'm a student in Demon Ford University now. I'm studying business management and human resource management. Today, I will give a presentation about total payment uh, payment management. In this uh, in this pr uh, in, in this presentation, I will discuss whether total payment management is a is a possible or desirable to to improve organizations of, uh, organization performance. First of all, let me introduce let me make an introduce uh, let, let me make a short introduce of this presentation. Uh, first of all, I will introduce some concept uh, some concept of total payment management, and then I will discuss how could the total payment management improve improve organization performance. After that, I will talk about some limitations of uh, of of it. And uh, in the first part, I will talk about how to implicate my total payment payment management to make it more efficient. And then, uh, in the, at last, I will make my conclusion. First of all, let's come into the first part. Let's come. Uh, let, let's know some basic concepts. First of all, let me let, let's uh, think one word. Reward. What is a reward? We always hear this word. But what is what is a reward? Uh, generally, understanding we can we can understand reward like different types of repay for employee service and uh, organizations, and uh, we can put a reward into different types. I put them into two types. The first type of reward is is monetary rewards. For example, like salaries, fewer bonds, insurance, and uh, holidays with with salaries. And another type of reward is non-monetary reward, such as self-fulfilling statue promotions, individual development, comfortable workplace, and so on. This is first concept, and the second concept is uh, what what is the total total payment management. We can regard total payment management management like this. We can regard it as employees oriented payment in situations which consider about employees participant and different needs and tends to build up a hierarchical relationship between employees and organizations. Okay, after that after these two two concepts, let's let's move to the next part. How could the total payment management improve organization's performance? First of all, I think for total payment management can stimul can stu stimulate employees' creative and hard working. It can improve employee it can improve employees' ownership and belongings. It also can increase employees' satisfaction. From X Y theory, we can know if a worker is happy with a uh, Organization, they will, they will, they will try to work better to it. If they are not happy with that, they may, they may not want to uh, work for this uh, organization. Uh, we can, we can know some about the. Uh, we can know some uh, from Starbucks. Starbucks has a large, uh, large number of uh, employees, and uh, in order, in order to motivate them, work better for the organizations. Starbucks uh, give their uh, their employees a feeling like they are the owner of the organization. They take decision of the organization. In this degree, I think Starbucks uh, satisfied employees uh, employees need and give give them give, give them a sense of belongings. And uh, the second part, I think that uh, uh, total payment manage management can build. Build a shared value and a cooperate culture for organizations, which could help organizations to develop in both short term and long term. Because total payment management is a kind of people oriented strategy which achieves self fulfilling and self respect employees. We all know that Maslow's theory is that in Maslow's theory, it says different. Um, in an organization, we can put it into different levels, and each levels of employees will will have will have different needs for the organi organizations and organizations due to their uh, different needs to 
to satisfy them. Starbucks use this very uh, use this uh, theory very well. They put their employees into different types and uh, and uh, understand what they need, and they 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 they, they satisfy their employees' need need in different levels. I think they use it very well. And uh, the 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 third one, I think, total payment management can attract talent and skilled employees and retain them. It also could help uh, uh, organizations to perform better. So even though we have a, a strong theory like this, but we still have some limitations of total payment management. So uh, next, I will introduce some limitations about total payment management. The first obvi obvious one is time consuming. That uh, if we use total payment management, organizations have to spend long time on clarify different individuals' wishes, needs. It, al it also has possibility to make gaps between accurate situation and employee expectations. In this condition, total payment management may fail to st stimulate employees and damage the relationship between employees and organizations. Then the second uh, limitation of that is the financial cost incre uh, increasing. Uh, we know that different needs should should be solved in different method in different areas. So organizations may suffer from increasing total cost of uh, of organization operation. Uh, from case we know that Starbucks want to pay their employees salary, so they uh, they had they had they had a very strong budget. And uh, however, however, Starbucks could afford total payment management do not mean that every organization with different organization size, size will have financial basis to afford. Some smaller organizations will under the financial pressure of uh, if, if the implicating them to total payment, uh, uh, total payment management. And the third limitation is that payments and salaries are usually depending on the source from managers. Sometimes, sometimes the manager's objective impression will mislead correct judgment only according to employees' uh, association performance, rather than depending on, on depending on our overall understanding. That may damage uh, uh, em employees' satisfaction of the organization in some degree. So with this theory and the concept, the concept and this is limitations. How we can, uh, we, 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 we can do some, some ways to fix this. How to implicate total payment management? I put them into three, three methods. The first one is increase effective communication based on different ages, genders, ex experience, background. Try to negotiate with employees and make a win-win agreement. Improve relationship to employees and organizations. The second one is have a clear budget on total cost and make it more efficiently by reducing source waste. Implicate meant total management based on minimal size to, to, uh, to negative effects on organizations. The third one is to help employees to develop themselves and achieve, uh, achieve self-fulfilling. It could help employees to achieve themselves and it also could help all organizations to reduce cost, which will, which will improve organizations' performance. So my conclusion about total payment management is it, 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 it has used to use some methods and combine some situations. They should put them together, but after that, it has to analyze whether there exist, exist, exist limitations or not. And after that, the organizations can come up with some, with some method which can cover these limitations. Then I think total payment management will, will, uh, will, will help organization performance better. So that is my presentation. Thank you. That's all.